Welcome back, everyone. We have Katie here with us this morning from the Wellness Way in Marquette, and uh, we're really diving into uh, a, a number of topics. And so we'll be talking about gut health, inflammation, hormones, women's health. But before we get there, uh, I want to learn where your passion comes from because just talking to you in this first segment, I can tell this is something that you really believe in, that you are a strong advocator of. So my gut tells me <laughs> that you have a personal experience with all of this. Absolutely, absolutely. So my journey initially started um, when I was about 20 years old. Um, and I, you know, there was a lot, I suffered from a lot of health challenges growing up, you know, tied to to different traumas and things like that. And, and it kind of just, I really suffered in my teen years with weight fluctuation, being told by my medical doctor, unfortunately, that, you know, your thyroid's fine, everything looks fine, just eat less. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, mm. nothing's working. I feel like, you know, I'm in and out in five minutes and all I have is a prescription in my hand. And yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And it was getting really frustrating frustrating. Um, and then I ended up having a friend whose husband was suffering from cancer and he ended up going to this more natural doctor who was also a chiropractor who did, you know, deep dive into clinical things, Dr. Laura Steber. And um, she just opened the wellness way in Escanaba, okay. which is really great. Yeah. But um, I heard about her and at the time she was in Iron Mountain and I was like, I'm going to go see her. I, there's something about it. He ended up being in remission from cancer and it was magical. He didn't do chemo. He didn't do radiation. It was a full lifestyle shift. I remember going to their houses, seeing these little herbs and seeing what, you know, mm. he's like, I can't eat this and this is what I eat and getting chaga out in the woods and making tea. <laughs> sure. I was like, wow. So I ended up going to her um, and it was the first time I was listened to. It was like, it felt like a weight was lifted off my chest. She's like, no, you're not crazy. There's things that we actually have to look into that nobody's ever looked into. Sure enough, I did have thyroid autoimmune mm -hmm. and my other doctor told me I was fine because I only checked one level. Um, I, I was suffering from high inflammation. I had fatty liver um, going on, so I, and I wasn't detoxing properly. I had a methylation issue. All of these things that I had no idea even existed, yeah. I found out were a problem. But the beautiful part about finding it out is then you can do something about it, mm -hmm. right? Sure. Then you can get answers as to how, what changes do I need to make? And I started to do that, and it was life-changing, right? I fell off the wagon for a little while, got married, had kids, all this stuff. When I moved back to the UP um, in 2019, I was me and my husband were like, we're going back, we're getting rolling again. We went and saw Dr. Laura. And at that time, the, uh, the Wellness Way, Dr. Patrick had released the Wellness Way Academy, a full education um, schooling program to be able to become a health restoration coach and work potentially with the Wellness Way. And Dr. Laura was like, you have such a passion for it, you know, um, that that's what I did. I ended up gaining so much weight after pregnancy a few years ago, I was almost 360 pounds. Mm. And so while I don't have the um, physique of like this fitness natural, I am on my way and I've lost over 100 pounds and it has been amazing. such an amazing journey the last that's few awesome. years to not only work with myself as my own advocate and now having the knowledge and still working with Dr. Laura as a colleague now, which is amazing, but also um, being able to resonate with my patients who yeah. have gone through the same thing. It's yeah. so hard to so, to so to have somebody who can get it is really comforting for them and for myself. Yeah, it sounds like an amazing journey and quite rewarding. Yes, yes, it's been wonderful. And it's so wonderful when you find something and then you're able to share it. Mm -hmm. And you know, we all have, uh, I think, more power than we realize for ourselves and Absolutely. for our families. So uh, we are going to now take the next step into this and talk about okay. food testing and allergy testing and some of the tests that are out there and where we are in that stage. Because I know some things are still being developed and, mm -hmm. uh, but just see what we can even look at within our bodies. We have to take another break. We'll be right back.